Okay, this spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever. Fine. I'll be over here then. What can I paint? Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? Yep. I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand! Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh. All done, huh? Oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. I need something that'll turn some heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win! But it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of paint left. Which leaves room for me to play. Thank you! I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Ex Excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David. Whoa! Again! Fun, right? You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Oh. Blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful! And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own! It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life, along with the outline of the wings. Other side! There! Just admire this pure beauty! 
And that's just the beginning, son! Poppy needs sure is satisfying! Uh… How about you draw this? I love poppets! Okay! Jen's going the colorful route! But I can get more creative than that! Just gonna borrow this. First, lay down some tape. Then add globs of paint like this. Then use a comb to create a fun pattern! It really brings the colors together. Way more interesting than brush strokes. And once you peel the tape back, you're left with the cleanest lines! See what I mean? Wow! This really worked! My comb! What did you do to it? It's mine! Sorry. No respect. Candy piece offering? I don't think so. Wait a second… Okay, hand him over. This ought to be interesting. Purple, my favorite! You go at the tippy top! Now it's really coming to life! And it really looks like a poppet! Nice! Let's see them! Here! Now that's funky! But Jennifer's… Truly spectacular! <laughs> and the winner… Whoa! I didn't know it was poppet season! Is there anything more classic than still life? I mean, how hard could it be? This poppet was fun! Okay. How do I get the apple to shine? Not a bad start, right? I wanna do this forever. Actually, meh. Move out of my way! I bet I can figure this out. I'm so bored. What's she doing over there? Painting a bunch of fruit? Now it's coming together. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Huh? Wait, something's missing here. What the? I'll just start over, I guess. When will she be done? Hello, apple! Okay. Did that apple move? How am I supposed to work like this? <laughs> this is fun! Okay, this time it'll be great. Excuse me? I don't understand this. Hello? There's gotta be an explanation. Hey! I should've known it was you! Get back here! Now get back here! You're not going anywhere! At least not until I'm done painting. Okay, last one! <sighs> now I can finally paint in peace. Now, where was I? Um, hello? How long am I gonna be up here? Let me go! You deserve it. <gasps> yes! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I can just trace the fruit's shadow. This takes out all the annoying guesswork. And I can put all of my focus into the strokes. It's pear time! This shape can get super tricky. Wow, I'm really zooming through these. Last one's almost done. Just gonna fill in the background a bit. Can't forget to sign it, either. It could be worth something one day. All done! No thanks to you, sis. <laughs> yes! My hands are free! But wait! Oh no! Ah! I'm okay! I wonder what it is. I'm so excited! It's kinda disappointing so far. I know, right? Uh… What's that noise? Surprise? Still nothing. Hello? We're waiting. Whoa! That was pretty cool. Wow. Should we open it? Uh, well, it's mine. Hey, hand it over! It was my idea! Don't grab. You're so mean, Chris! Ooh, bubbles! I don't 
hair. But they are pretty. Can I try? No. Please. It's so fun! Hey, look at that! This gives me an idea! This'll be so good! Start with a canvas. Then use a roller to apply paint. Make sure to cover the whole canvas. Now take a coffee cup and dip it into white paint. And press onto the canvas. Be as creative as you want! Next, start to add color inside the circles. Try to add different colors for a more realistic effect. We're trying to capture the light in the bubbles. This is looking good! And now for some finer details. Whoa! This turned out amazing! I'm so artistic! Hey, Chris! I have some bubbles of my own! What? Jealous? Can I have it? Let's swap! Give me it! Wow! Huh? Where's the bubbles? It's empty! That's not fair! Oh, <laughs> did I forget to tell you I used all the bubbles? It's not funny! Who knew science was so interesting? Oh, a message. Oh no! I forgot Gina's birthday! I need to get her a gift! There must be something around here that I can use. That's a start! Now I just need to find a gift. Whoa! Ouch! Hey! I can use that ribbon! That's gonna hurt later. Okay, time to get creative. This is going well. There! It looks amazing! But what can I put in it? A doll? Hmm. Aw, another doll! Just what I need. Nope. Flowers. That's a good idea. They're beautiful! Uh, where did those bees come from? Uh, I got stung! Uh, I can't risk it. Now this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? No way! Ugh. Come on, think! Oh, I know! I can make her a journal! Start with an ordinary notebook. Open the back cover. And start to apply a thin line of glue along the edge. Do this along the side and the bottom of the page. Next, you'll need a length of pink ribbon. Stick the ribbon to the glue. Repeat this with more lengths of pink ribbon along the bottom of the page. Once you've done that, you'll need some green ribbon. Stick the strips of green ribbon along the side of the page. Don't leave any gaps. Keep it side by side. Now close the notebook over. Fold the pink ribbon over the notebook. Then thread the green ribbon over and under the pink ribbon. Continue this all the way up the notebook with each strand of ribbon. You'll create a lattice effect. Open the notebook back up and run a strip of glue along the top of the page. Fold the excess ribbon over the cover and stick it to the glue. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Apply glue along the edge again, over the top of the ribbon. Remember to only put it on the three edges. Now put a sheet of card over the glue. Give it a press to make sure it's stuck in place. There! A homemade journal! I hope Gina likes it. I'm ready for Gina's birthday! I got you something! Wow! <sighs> Shredded paper! Thanks! Seriously? Look in the box. Oh, right! Thank you! You're the best! I know. Just gonna touch up my makeup while we're waiting. Looks like you need something to do! Dinner time! Oh, she pressed the button. Wonder what we'll get this time. Looks like it's cotton swabs. You know, the kind that go in your ears. Um, what are we doing now? Oh, oh no. The powder went up my nose. Achoo! Ah! Those swabs went flying all across the room! Ouch! Sorry, everyone. Oh, is that my face impression? From smacking it when I sneezed? Oh my gosh! You have two up your nose! Yeah, I know. I can feel them. Okay, let me just slide a bunch of these out of the way. Now I can start my drawing. I'll do a pretty lady in a dress. I'll give her long hair too, because why not? All right, all right. This is turning out pretty good so far. Now I just need to cut off the cotton swab tip on one end. And then do the same for all the rest of them. Now it's time to start decorating her dress with swabs and glue. Just gonna line them all up next to each other. Make sure they're sticking in place. 
first row is done! Time to start on the second row! I'm gonna use the greens and blues for this layer. Who knew these cotton swabs would be so fun to work with? Just gotta finish the top of her dress now, too! Phew! I'm done! And time to show off my artwork! What do you think of my lady in her dress? What a goddess of fashion you've created! Wow! I wish that was a real dress that I could wear! It's amazing! All I have is my face imprint from the sneeze! It's time for the final button push and the final spin of the spinner! The bunny is very cute! Now get to it! This one should be fun! I'm gonna need artsy clothing! Whoa! What the heck? I didn't know we could just change our clothes! Sorry, can't talk right now. Too busy listening to my muse. I shall begin here, with a single line, and then a bunch more. He wishes to be free of his confines, to run wild in the forest! That bunny came together quick! Yes, well, when the muse speaks, I listen. Here is my finished piece. Oh my gosh, how frightening! Ugh. Whoa! Oh my! Ugh. He's just a wild bunny. I like cute bunnies, so I don't want him to be scary. What I do on one side, I'll repeat on the other side. He's gonna need some arms and legs, too. Tail is done! Now to add his itty-bitty cute little face. Can't have a bunny without a carrot, of course. Okay, bunny, time to give you some color. Like pink ears. Maybe some pink cheeks, too. That'll be nice. Carrot needs color, too. What do you think, bunny? You wanna be white? Nah, let's make you blue. My bunny is done now, too. What do you think? Now that is the type of bunny I was expecting to see. You like him? You really do? Yes! Thank you so much! Ugh, whatever. It's just a bunny drawing anyway. Ugh! What the heck is going on? Everything's going backwards! I think we're rewinding! But why is it happening? When will it stop? I don't know. I'm kinda scared! There's when you made me paint my own face! And when we arrived at the challenge! Ah! Oh! Hey! We made it back to the park! And we're all safe! And hey, look! I've got us some candy to share! Girls! What are you doing? No candy! It's not healthy! Here, have these oranges instead. They have a lot of vitamin C. I guess so. This looks so cute! Matthew will love it! Oh… Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Psst. Gina! Can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. He still has it! I'll go see him! He'll be so surprised! Phew. Matthew lives far away! At least I don't need a shower later! I should've brought a jacket! I can't wait to see him! What? You look so pretty today! I don't believe it! And with my eraser! This is the worst! Stupid Matthew! I'm never gonna give him my eraser again! <gasps> what am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! I should've thought of this earlier! I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. Oh, it's so cute! I'm sorry. Okay, time for the next challenge. Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little. I need to hang out with new people. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop, you're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel. This is so awesome! No hands? No problem. Here goes! 
I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad. Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing. There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. That! Wait, what's that? Oh! It looks so cuddly! There's a tiny draft, too! This one's mine! Aww! Okay, I guess this little guy's mine. Heh, <laughs> my draft is much better. Okay, don't move. I need to draw you. So far, so good. What are you doing? I'm examining the draft. Oh, good idea. Hmm. I wonder how Justin's doing. Pretty realistic, isn't it? I'm gonna call him Jerry. It doesn't look like a draft. This is gonna be tricky. It's all about getting the right scale. Hang on! I have an idea! I'll place my hand like this and then draw around it. I'll add a face. And now it's a draft! Let's color it in! This brown is the perfect color. And I can color the rest yellow. Careful! I don't want to make any mistakes now. Now for the neck. That's it! I'm glad I thought of that. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. You can have this! Thank you! Whoa! Are you seeing this light right here? Ooh, looks like we've got boxes this time! I'm gonna take this one. No way! Look what was in mine! Cans of spray paint! I wonder what's in mine? I can't tell just by shaking. I'll open it. Wow! It's a whole box full of new colored pencils! I love them! Oh! Look! Another little box! What do you think's inside? I'll open it and find out. Huh. That's not what I expected. It's a gummy eyeball. So squishy. Okay, I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry. Mmm, that's very tasty. And chewy. I love it. Wow, that was a really good snack. I wish I had even more to eat. Hey look! We both get to use hands this time! All right, I've got my gloves and I'm ready to make some art. I'm gonna start with this blue color and make a splotch in the middle. Now I'll use this glass as a guide for the white paint. There! Now we've got a perfect blue circle. Next up, I need this plate. I'll put it face down on the paper. Time to break out the black spray paint now. Okay, I need a little black in the middle for a pupil, because it's an eye. I'm ready with my pencils and my one hand. Here I go! Time to draw an eye with my single hand. This is going pretty good so far. And I think I'm done! Ta-da! My happy little face is done! Whoa! How the heck did you do that? What? My cute little eye? Didn't it turn out fantastic? No way! The magic turned my picture into another gummy eyeball! Except it's a huge one! No way! What the heck? That's gigantic! Can I have it? Uh, no way. This belongs to me. Now excuse me. I need to eat my giant eyeball. <sighs> Man. Though I guess I didn't give her any of my cake. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? What is this? Oh, another one? They keep coming! I don't wanna eat out of the trough. I do like mud rats. Oh, this field is so nice! Look at the land! Come, let's frolic together! Uh, look, Clover. Oh my gosh, you are the cutest lamb I've ever seen! Oh, 
my goodness, it's starting to rain! These raindrops are coins! I feel so inspired by all of this! Ow! What the? Geez, you totally smacked me right in my face! Now I gotta try to get back to sleep. Oh, gotta get rich from the rain. Gonna catch it all, catch the money. <laughs> what the heck is she even doing over there? Wake up! Stop! You're kicking and smacking me! Oh my goodness! I was dreaming! How strange! Wait, I remember being so inspired in that field! I have to make some art! And now I just need a coin, like from the rain in the dream! I've got my marker, so now it's time to start making some art! I've got the coin on the canvas, and now I need to draw around it! I'll add three more in the middle and then connect them! This will be my sheep face! His little nose and mouth are so cute! Now let's add some very cute rosy cheeks! <gasps> so cute! I'm so happy with this artwork! Come on, get back here! I need to auction this artwork! Who would like to bid on this wonderful flock of sheep? Oh yes, I absolutely need that artwork for my office! I will offer $100,000! Oh my wow, that's so much money! Oh yes! Sold! To the man in the hat and vest! Ah! None of this art is working at all! It's total, absolute garbage! Ah! It doesn't even make sense! This place is so inspirational! <sighs> yeah, I don't get it. Indeed. Oh wait! I think I have an idea about what to do! Paint me! Uh, no, no thank you. I don't want that. Hmm, I see. Well, you do you then. Huh, I think she's too good to paint my portrait. Whoa, look! A guy just appeared over there! Hello! Yes, I used my magic to appear here. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> wait, I've got something for you. Alakazam! There, see? A treasure chest! <laughs> Are you ready to see what's inside? Ta-da! There's a robot and a doll inside! So cute! There we go! Hello, Mr. Robot! Hello, Dolly! Oh, I feel so inspired by this interaction! The drama! The love! Oh my goodness, they're going to kiss! <gasps> the inspiration is striking! I'll draw a heart across my fingers like this! I'll have to fill it in too, so it looks pretty! Can't forget to color the other side and finger as well! Alright, let's use the black and add some dots up here, and smiles, and arms! Aww, so cute! They love each other! They're totally hugging each other and are so happy together! Look! Huh? Oh, they are very cute! That's very nice! Thanks! I felt inspired by the love in the air! Okay, I feel inspired to create my own artwork now! I'll draw a heart using both a pencil and a fine tip marker! And now I need to add little lines at the top and bottom! Next up, shading in with a pencil! I want the shading darker in the middle but lighter on top! Now I'll need to use this ruler to draw a straight line across! The lines in the ruler can work as a guide for this knife! I gotta cut along this top line! Now I need to cut up here on the top of the heart. That's one half done, and now for the other side. Okay, now I can slide away this top paper part. Time to add some shading down here, for shadow. It doesn't need to be a lot, just a little will work. I'll bend it a bit together with this blender too, so it's soft. There we go, it's looking so nice and smooth. Look, I'm done with mine now too. It's a pretty little heart, what do you think? No way, it looks 3D. You should definitely show the magic guy. Wait, where did he go? He's totally vanished. <sighs> First he appeared out of nowhere, and now he's disappeared! Eh, it's fine. I've got a good feeling about this one! A love heart! It's so cute! Let's see who spins the wheel! I'm great at thumb wars! Yes! I won! Oh, so close! Please don't be bad! No paper? But how am I supposed to draw? Guess you'll need to figure that out! Watch this! I'll start by drawing a line down the middle. And another one. Then some lines at the top and bottom. And now for the sides of the heart. The pencil makes great guidelines for when we start to use ink. Once the basic shape is done, use an eraser to remove the guidelines around the edges. Then grab a pen and just follow the lines. It creates a great 3D effect. Now to add the color, remember to stay inside the lines. Once that's done, add shadowing to the inside edges. A regular pencil is fine for this. 
Just add to anywhere you think there would be a shadow, or where you think the light would be different. It's a different way of drawing a love heart, but it looks so impressive! That's it! What do you think? Wow! I mean, it's okay. What can I use? I know! My hands! It's pretty basic. There must be something I can do. Got it! A tiny heart! Huh? How about this? It's a heart! No, it isn't? Sorry. Okay, now what do you think? Ugh, just give up! I know I can do this! Come on, fingers, don't let me down! I think I figured it out! I just need a red pen! Place one finger on top of the other, then draw a love heart. Then simply use a red pen to fill it in. It's not too bad. I like it. Or should I say, I love it. But I'm not finished. Let's add a smiley face. And you need another one for true love. How romantic! Look! Seriously? Aw, that's so cute! Hold on! I have an idea too! Don't ruin it! It'll be great! There! They're hugging! I think I'm gonna cry! It's so sweet! This is fun! Okay, roll them! Aw, I lost. Woohoo! It's my turn to spin! I wonder what we'll get. Ooh, a surprise! Whoa! There's so many things to choose from! Oh, I thought it was candy. What is it? You use it to draw. Ah, got you! Like this? Fun! What do you think? Uh, okay. Use it like this. It'll make a spiral. All you have to do is move the pen. The circles do the rest. I could do this all day. It looks so cool. Okay, let's try a different color. See? It's creating a different pattern. I don't need these anymore. Now that looks good! Whoa! It's so hypnotic… Ashley? Are you okay? Yoo-hoo! Hey, snap out of it! I know! This might be loud! Ugh. This has to work! Seriously? I'm all out of ideas. Oh. This feather might be handy. Wakey wakey! Achoo! What happened? Oh yeah! My pretty circles! Uh, they look great! Can I spin the wheel? No. Hmm. Which pencil should I use? Blue or green? Look at her. I love you. Mwah, mwah. I'll see you later in my dreams. Whoa! A snail. Cool. Who spins the wheel? I win! Ugh! I was convinced I would win. Come on! No hands? Again? Oh well, I suppose I can do it. Here I go! Maybe I can help. There! Hey! You're doing it wrong! But how? Oh well, I'll give it a go. Close your eyes. Why are you acting weird? Fine. Luckily I have this blindfold. How do I look? Perfect! This is harder than it seems. You're amazing! I mean, you're doing amazing. I should kiss her. Wait! I can't forget this! You're kidding me! I spent twenty dollars on this! So stupid! Although… I better be quick! Get out of here! Who needs expensive flowers when you have a pen? Just create your own! It's more romantic this way. 
Just a stem and it's done. I hope she likes it. I have no idea what I've drawn. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a snail. I drew something. <laughs> For me? You're much prettier than any rose. You're embarrassing me, but it's so romantic. Art is